Kodak Black would become one of the hottest young rappers out of Florida and was put on everyone's list as an artist to watch for 2016. Oh my god, look at Kodak! Oh my god, look at my son! Before Drake got the 19 year old rapper even more attention when he recorded himself dancing to the track Skr and blasted out on his Instagram. Kodak Black continued to rap while in and out of jail and released his little B.I.G. Pack mixtape in June of 2016 while serving a sentence. Kodak! Project Baby! Before the chosen one toured the country, bringing his net worth to around $300,000 and landed himself on the double XL freshman list for 2016, where he borrowed his signature hairstyle from Crazy Eyes from Orange is the New Black. Kodak Black was raised in the projects outside of Miami, Florida by a single mother. He was rapping and running drugs with some of the older kids on the block, but when he was 15, caught a life sentence that almost put him away for good. Luckily, a producer thought he was worth investing in and paid his lawyers, and then, well, they signed him to a big label. Originally, he was rapping under the moniker Little Black, but when he signed up to Instagram, he swapped out the Little for Kodak. Where did he get that idea from? Well, your guess is as good as mine. The Kodak Mall. Aren't all your moments worth Kodak film? What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCrudden, documenting the come up of young and talented rapper Kodak Black, prior to fame, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now I've also looked at a ton of other Florida rappers like Rick Ross and Stitches. Man, the Stitches one is pretty crazy, give that a watch. As always, be sure to let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Black or Deusin Octavi was born on June 11, 1997 in Papano Beach, Florida. Papano, Papano, Papano. His parents, they hail from Haiti, but they immigrated to the States years earlier prior to his birth, and Octavi was raised by his mother in Golden Acres, a public housing project where a large population of Haitians had settled. Poverty, drug addiction, and violence were a daily part of life, and every day Octavi found himself brawling with the Americans from the projects across the street. In elementary school, he started rapping with some of his cousins, and he was inspired by Little Boozy's success story. At the age of 12, he showed off his rhymes to some of the 15 year olds on the block, and they liked what they saw. Or what they heard. They invited the young rapper to come over and lay down some tracks, but Octavi soon found out that they weren't just using a home to produce their music. It was a trap house, and being exposed to their drug running lifestyle left quite the impression on young Octavi. <laughs> He wasn't dealing at first, but the house became a second home to him. Everyone in the crew used to call him Lil Black. Not the most creative nickname, but it stuck. When he joined Instagram, he changed it to Kodak Black and started rapping under the name. The Kodak Mall. He went to Blanche Eli High School and joined the local rap group Brutal Youngs. By this time, he had started dealing as a means of survival. His mother was only making enough to get by, and his dad was out of the picture. But a life of crime quickly caught up with him, and when he was just 15, he got sent to juvie three times. Yeah, that's right. Then in the summer of 2013, he landed a serious charge that was punishable by a life sentence. Yeah, things weren't looking good. Luckily by this time, his talent and charisma had already caught the eye of A.D. Julian, CEO of Dalla and Deal Entertainment, and he believed the young rapper showed promise and decided to invest in his future. He footed the bill for some big shot lawyers who were able to get Kodak's sentence reduced to three years probation. Much better than a life sentence. On his release, he was signed to 80's label and December of that year launched his first big tape project, Baby. Soon, everyone on the streets was blasting his tape, and his debut singles were getting exposure across the country. He continued to work towards his high school diploma and started posting to his YouTube channel. Then his music video for No Flock and went viral and earned the young rapper millions of views. Oh man, that was a good line. Now the demand for the song was so overwhelming, it eventually got radio play on the Miami station 103.5 The Beat. Then it got pushed even more when Drake picked it up and aired it on his OVO Sound radio show. But despite this incredible success, old habits they die hard, and he was still on that street hustle. In October of 2015, Kodak was pulled over by the cops who suspected him of robbing an adult and a child. They found marijuana in the car and he was driving with a suspended license. Black was arrested for robbery, kidnapping, and cannabis of his possession, but later got out on bail. Thank the Lord. Thank them lawyers. You have legal problems? I'll give you a hand or two. 
Call me, Jack Kelly. Following this Atlantic Records, they approached Kodak and offered him a deal. Seriously, every time this kid lands himself in jail, he gets a record deal. I don't recommend this approach, but it seemed to work wonders for him. He released his album, Institution, that December. He was then co-signed by Drake. He's built up a big following and been dropping hit after hit. Recently, he found himself on the cover of Double XL in the 2016 freshman class, so the kid's doing A-OK. -okay. As for the rest of the story, well you know it because this is Before They're Famous. My name is Michael McCrath, thanks for checking out my channel. We do all sorts of celebrity bios on here, you guys have been asking for this one for some time. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Little Uzi Vert? Yeah, I'm going to work on that. Alright guys, also you can check out my website, we put all this information there in text. There's also some original content like our bloopers videos and some funny spoofs and parodies and stuff like that. Be sure to browse around, I'll see you guys in another video. Cool. Oh yeah, find me on Instagram as well. Okay. Time.